Alrighty. Here we are, back at Crowder's Mountain, down at the base, base camp, whatever you want to call that. Do a quick gear check. Got the pack, got to get my stick out. Got a couple of maps. I got one of these new passport dealies because the old one, it got hit in the rain and it's kind of half disintegrated. I'm going to go back to 90% of these parks anyway. And uh, this one already has the stamp put in it. There we go. Is that it? Nope. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Yep. Yeah, well, you saw it there. Long story short, stamp's already in it. All right, I got a couple of maps here. I usually keep one map. I usually get two maps because the one tends to disintegrate in my pocket, either because I get rained on. Sometimes I like to put those in my journal later on. Either I get rained on or the sweat. Just the sweat destroys. So we're going to see how this waterproof thing works. If I can coil that up and stick that in my pocket, that's pretty much what we're going to do. Okay, so before this was the crossroads that we came to, and we decided to go left. Most people, when given the chance to um, go either left or right, will choose right. Kind of a weird trick of psychology. This way is a kind of a slope that goes all the way up to the minor peak, the minor pinnacle, and this way has some steps. I'm not sure which one is more intense, but this one almost killed us for God's sake. This time we're doing steps, because I didn't get to show you that last time. Well, might not seem too bad, but... The trail pretty much, kind of like on Morro Mountain, has a tendency to go straight up. And the terrain is really tough clay, and very rocky. Okay, maybe talk no understand. There is nothing saying no sign saying talk can't climb. Can't talk climb. Yeah, really cool natural little jungle gym right here. There is some chicken wire at the top making me think that that's part of a fence saying talk no climb, but talk want climb. Uh, really cool little natural place to kind of practice, you know. I'm not sure if this would help you with rock climbing or not, but I want to climb on it. But that being said, a good friend of mine actually told me that uh, it's um, part about preserving the mountain. You are actually not supposed to just climb on crap. That they have signs saying not to do that. Usually, I don't care about that, but out of respect for Mother Nature, I guess I'll try to leave no trace this time. So right about here on the trail is where you hit the stairs. And I think this is one of the only times where I actually agree with there being stairs in a park. From the stairs down there. We come to the small summit. Who the hell would throw? Oh, never mind. I know, I know people. Over there. It's where we were chilling before. Big rock here. I didn't get to take a look at earlier. Huh. I don't know why there's sand here. Oh, I forgot it's North Carolina. There's always sand. <sighs> top, of the, top of the small peak is absolutely beautiful. I can't even imagine what the top of the, the big pinnacle looks like. Uh, 
What is that, Gastonia? Wait, what's that mountain? We had the same question last time. There's something that I wasn't really able to show you in this direction, over by where the power plant is uh, last time. This time, though. There's my ass just dripping. Just dripping sweat. Oh yeah, that's sexy. Right about here. That's what I wanted to check out. That will actually lead back to the trail that loops around. Where the hell does this lead? That is the question. Right here beyond this brush, we got us a cool little ridge that my Tolstoy instincts are telling me to check out. Drop below ain't too bad. You would fall into some bramble, but you would not certainly die. Might not even break your leg. However, there's trees in my way. And I don't know if I can do it with a stick. So I'm gonna leave my stick there. Probably should take the dang pack off because it unbalances me, but I'm cool. Maybe it'll yeah, help me if I slip. Acting as a cushion. Or it could get caught on the tree. It has little crackers in it. Oh boy. Okay. Nice. Huh. Is that an eagle? Ah, uh, heck of a final. Anyway. So you get onto this little ledge here. Pretty cool. This probably would have terrified old Tolstoy. This does not, uh, it doesn't ring too, too hard on my whatever meter. I could have remembered in my mind's eye there was more bouldering in my head. I know there is actually rock climbing at this park, but you must be registered or something like that. They want to know that you got the skills to pay the bills. They don't have to come collect your corpse. That being said, I just realized there was an easier way to get down here. All right, maybe there's some wisdom to shorts, I don't know. No, I mean, really, isn't there some kind of like folklore about a grasshopper on your knee? In there? I think there is. What you doing? You being a grasshopper? Hmm? You being a plague? I don't, look, man, you gotta go. I, I, got, I got stuff to do, man, time's ticking. What you doing, hmm? Why don't you, why don't you go someplace else? Oh, he did. Alright, uh, back on the cool, rocky part of the small summit. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Hanging Rock. Actually, a lot of bit of Hanging Rock. Uh, it's 302, which means I've been at it for about an hour. I think it's time I probably fueled up, got some more water in me, and then reconnoitered with the map. Okay, climbing around on what I assumed was uh, the small summit. I think I just realized I might not be where I think I am. Because over there is the famous picture of Crowders that you see when you either Google it or check the map or look at the little. Oh, wow, that's cool. I really hope that's the trail. I really, really hope that's. If it's not, what does it matter? Is it going to stop you? No. 
Nothing stops Tolstoy. Wish that tree wasn't in the way. So I could get a better view. Alright, we're gonna have to gonna have to get down with the sickness here. Oh wait a second, there's a yeah, better go down a little bit then. Not really sure what all that weird shrieking is. I guess that's what you do when you come out to parks around here. Quit, quit shrieking. I don't know why you're shrieking. And that is generally what you see when you Google Crowder's Mountain. It's very beautiful. And I feel like that little path there connects the two. I'm not sure how treacherous it is. I'm going to consult the map and then maybe we're going to find out. Alright, so according to the map, we started here, I'm sweating all over this damn thing. And we should be about here. The Overlook. Or the Little Pinnacle, as I've been calling it. Because that beautiful bit of nature cannot possibly be... Where is it? All the way the Pinnacle. Not even aiming at it. There. But according to the map, we have a long way to go before then. And I, I am losing a lot of water, just sweating. On to the second out of three liters. I made the wise decision to put the hydrolyte in it the first time for the first round. So that's why I'm not completely knocked out right now. I do want to check out what's over there. Let's get retarded. Alright, no lie, that's pretty fucking badass. Once you get past that little ridge, that kind of leads over. I have no idea what the heck this is. I don't know what to call this. It's not named on the map, I guess. This is, this, this is the pinnacle, which I highly doubt. next. I don't think this is the trail. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I really thought that it was supposed to lead us kind of around us. Now, okay, listen, pine tree. There we go. Got us a nice cool breeze, though. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Huh. Kind of looks like a human face. Alright, what do we got? I don't think that's the trail. Would you even believe me if I told you that the camera was balanced in the fork of a tree? Anyway. Okay, I climbed up to this part. I want to get over there. But, these rocks are kind of treacherous. They also look loose. They're hot. <laughs> you know, having not really rock climbed IRL, 
I now kind of understand why everyone likes to do it in the cooler months. Damn. That being said, I want to get over there. I'm not sure if there is some kind of connecting bridge in between here and there. There might be. Ah, fuck. I am pretty convinced this is not a trail. I'm pretty convinced that I'm doing the usual Tolstoy thing, which is gonna feel great once I get back down. But in the moment, it's a little bit, eh, it's not even terrifying. Okay, there's a teal blaze here, and I saw another teal blaze on one of these other rocks. What does that mean? Are there teal blazes on the, on the map? Teal blaze. Lake trail, tower trail. This would be the tower trail, not the lake trail. Holy cannoli. There's no way. There's no way this is actually a trail. If it is, it is, it is for the, t uh, it is for the me level. This is not where normies go. I think, oh, hot. Sort of reached an impasse here. I could climb this. It's bouldering. It, these grips, though hot, are pretty protruding. They, they're very grippy. There's a lot of purchase. I know I could do this, but <laughs> if I screw up, there is actually somebody who knows that I'm out here. And I, I, I know that I have the skills to do it. I just, it's not very tall. Hmm. Oh, that's hot. Hmm. Yeah. But guess what? Once I get about halfway up, there's really no purchase for my left foot. And if I were to mess up, it'd be a problem. do that Tolstoy thing where I kind of check my physical capability and dip my toe into the water here, figure out what we're doing. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's really cool. Definitely get up to the top of the ridge, but what if I can't get back down? Oh, shit, 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 shit. All right, well, much like that tactical treat I had to make on Pilot Mountain, I think we're gonna have to do another one of those. I'm gonna see if I can take this weird little rock ridge bridge back to the trail. Uh, ah, don't mind me, children. Just finishing up an entry in an old man's diary about adventure and mystery and rocks that I climbed on in my youth. <laughs> Mbully! Yeah, I got Teddy Swalzevelt printed out. I think it's pretty fucking cool. If this looks the same, if I look exactly the same as I did in the hurricane video, there's no reason for that. It's just a coincidence. Shut up. Just had to get some footage real quick, get a clip of me kind of explaining that at this point in the video, uh, in reality, in my adventure, I actually did almost turn back. But uh, something, something turned, you know, changed in the, the winds of fate that day. And uh, you should definitely stay tuned for part three. We'll all go over that in greater detail. Probably wearing this exact same shirt during this exact same hurricane. I, I mean, uh, no. Good God. I'm sure this is going to be terrifying. Holy crap, this one goes back in there. Uh, unfortunately, my light does not really offer. Holy crap, you can really get to. Ow. Do 